Well, it's time for Jiraiya versus Roshi. God, I hope they... Just please, I'm just... Just please don't kill Jiraiya in such a way that I lose it and cry like a little baby in front of thousands of people. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Hey everybody, I'm Spectral Star and welcome back to another death battle that we watch together. Isn't this fun? How many have I done now? Like 99 of these things? Like seriously? Well, not that many, but I did used to do the old, uh, you know, preview videos, but I stopped doing that. I kind of figured, what's the use when you can just watch the whole darn thing, you know, fight preview and the fight on the same day and surprise yourself. That's the name of the game here, surprising yourself. So anyways, today we've got uh, Jiraiya, Pervy Sage, versus Roshi, Pervy Turtle Hermit. So we got the Frog Sage, we got the Turtle Hermit. It's time to see which uh, rodent is more badass. And I know I, they're probably not rodents. I think frogs are kind of like the rodents of the amphibian world, but you know, whatever. Frogs are cool too. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into this. I'm a Master Roshi guy, although I don't want to see a certain person die because it, it, it made me cry so hard the last time that I saw it that I almost quit watching animes because it was so it was so jarring and so rough for me. So anyways, now that you know I'm a snowflake, let's go ahead and watch this death battle. All right, let's let's just go ahead. Enough of the pomp and circumstance. I bet this is going to be a good one though. Funny as all the hell. Finest warriors are never developed on their own. While some are simply molded by their enemies, the best usually seek the wisdom of a master. Who, for some reason, is a good old pervert, like Roshi, turtle hermit and teacher to Dragon Ball's greatest hero. And Jiraiya, the toad sage and instructor to the most famous ninja of all. Naruto. He's an boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, like, armor, and skills up. to find out who would win a death battle. Who would win this death battle, honestly? Goku is, without a doubt, one of the greatest martial arts champions of all time. Very true. Well, yeah, he's good enough to rival gods, become yes. a Super Saiyan, and even master Ultra Instinct. Goku but versus Superman 3, is it coming? Without the guidance We're gonna have it? Master Third Rush. time's the charm? Goku wins that one? So powerful, mm -hmm. only no, one thing probably in the world not. That can probably stop not. Him. Well, uh, two things, and that's really, okay. If you get what I mean. Because it'd probably be the same outcome anyway. Make me angry. Oh god! When he was a hip youngin, Roshi studied <laughs> under the legendary <laughs> Master shot at Potato. By launch. Potato. And a kitty cat. These masters of ass whooping taught Roshi how to weaponize his own. The corn was such a key. Similar to many real life a -hole, honestly. Arts, key is a vital energy all living like beings crazy. possess. The stronger and more focused you are, the greater your key becomes. Roshi can use his key to increase his power. He walks the way of the swole. With a bunch of awesome techniques. He can fire explosive shots, go buff mode, stun foes with thunder shock surprise, and even seal dangerous enemies Mafuba. away with the evil containment wave. It wasn't long until Roshi refined these techniques oh, and evil created containment his wave. own martial arts style. Turtle school. Creepy <laughs> old man turtle school. Creepy old man turtle school. Roshi and I have to oh. He's a turtle. Man. He's a turtle. No, it's not about beating people up as slow as you can like I first thought. <laughs> turtle school or Kame style includes everything from tricky pressure point combat to a phony drunken style. Which, if you ask me, is really, just a missed it was just to get the, wasted. The, the, the turtle shell backpacks they wore, they were like weighted training hands, clothes. And that's why he was called the turtle hermit. Chased by both sharks and bees. All while wearing Plus he hung out with a turtle Roshi's who martial art focuses actually got lost for a few years and then got brought back to Master way. Roshi and Except he also found the one. Fountain of Youth. How about that? Oh, Master Roshi. He's done a lot of cool, crazy, out of this world things. <laughs> and he still can't fly. Yeah. He still, still can't fly. Point, it's kind of sad, but that's the way it goes. The crane school. Apparently, Roshi's just been a bit too stubborn to properly learn You think learn he could skill, learn to fly? Even after centuries of experience. How long has he been doing this? 
Well, it's a little vague, but thanks to either a pet phoenix he accidentally killed and the or the mysterious paradise herb, he's just shy of 360 years old. Damn, paradise I'm just herb. impressed he can still get it up for the girls after all that time. Boomstick. I don't remember anything like that. Well, I mean, yes, I guess. Then again, I haven't read the manga, so it's Where probably in the manga. Where can I get me some of this paradise grass? I want to be chasing tail for centuries. I thought it was. But with what all in the world? I haven't seen this, talents, but I need to see that. dedicated 50 of them to developing one revolutionary technique. That's something help I missed. Me, help me, help! I thought it was the fountain of youth. He found the fountain of youth. I guess anyway. that was just <laughs> some kind of translation thing they had to do to simplify. Anyway. Oh God. To be honest, devastating is an understatement. Well, yeah, he blew up a whole freaking mountain yeah, with it. Yeah, 50 years, this Goku learns it in one day. life flaming mountains in China, standing up to 2,600 feet tall. With this in mind, we can find that to pulverize such a mountain, Roshi's Kamehameha must equal nearly four gigatons of TNT. But yeah, what about the moon, baby? To the time he obliterated there the we go. The moon in about five seconds. The moon. That's gotta be worth what, like 10, <sighs> 20 mountains? Wait, how many mountains make a moon? Well, more like 35 billion. How did you calculate the in that? Its the Kamehameha how? must have Why? struck a force akin oh, we got to make this joke about how many mountains you can get TNT. out of the moon. That's a I'm on it, says zeros, Ben. By the way. Holy shit, Roshi's also super fast. Ridiculous. He can fight an entire battle in a blink of an eye. Which might seem crazy, but Roshi is also able to snatch bullets out of the air that are fired at him from point-blank range. Yep. That gun looks like a British Sten, which can fire up to 600 rounds per minute and a muzzle fast. velocity of nearly 1,200 feet per second. That means Roshi would have to react to the first bullet within 5 milliseconds. Yep. Additionally, each consecutive bullet would reach him just shy of 17 milliseconds apart. Even the, the crane hermit can do this, I think. Given shot looks to be about three feet, which means he would have to be crane moving at no 180 feet per second in order to catch them all. Oh, if my hands can move that fast, I'd finally stop getting married. This speed is far from his limit, but Roshi's true talent is ensuring well, his put students the joke go in further there. and further than himself every day. Sadly, Roshi's frailty of age means his body can't always express just how powerful he really is. That is true. He's much so strong. Energy can cause all sorts of problems, like when his master Pistachio died using the evil I thought it was potato. Wave. But while Roshi's pupils may surpass him, he remains one of the smartest fighters on Earth. He's tough enough to take down dozens of Frieza's soldiers and survived a beatdown from an alternate universe wannabe Frieza. Yeah. He even took a barrage of death rays like a champ. The same move that killed Vegeta many, many and years ago. Like Pierce and Piccolo, in the Dragon Ball Super Manga, Roshi uh, is shown to be so collected in battle. Could have sworn he once or twice. Sort of then again, that could have just been explosion, instinct. levitation yeah, thing that he did. that's not technically canon, but it does go to show and how oh, yeah. far Roshi's training can take him. And it's safe to say that this old, perverted, but genius of a man will never stop training. You can dodge, cheering, okay? That's way faster than lightning. Like, way faster. Among the ninja of the Hidden Leaf Village, few are quite as impressive as Naruto Uzumaki. Yeah, I know that's the only crazy, reason I'm bringing that up is because you know, Goku was training under Master Roshi and the moon he and had to dodge lightning. Naruto would At become the point. hidden leaf, so greatest it's, champion, it's and seventh Hokage. Easy to assume that but this would never have been possible Master Roshi's without his training under the that dynamic and toad so, you know. sage and legendary. I thought that was something else Jiraiya grabbing that guy gallant. and bringing him down. Yeah, yeah, can you uh, guess what I thought it was? It was why did the most can you guess? Old dudes always turn out to be weird pervs. Uh, well, don't let his <laughs> crude. That demeanor. is so messed up because oh, don't worry about I remember this. that. This ain't my first trip That's Naruto, dude. Nothing surprises me anymore. I mean. Okay. Um, anyway, Jiraiya originally learned this that was in way from battle. the third Hokage, Good shit. who taught him how to use his chakra to do ninja magic. Similar to Ki, chakra is a form of life energy. In Hindu and Buddhist theologies, chakras are, in simplistic terms, gates, gates within the human body, which can yep. be embraced to achieve enlightenment. However, in the world of Naruto, chakra is used to perform amazing ninja techniques called jutsus. Gesundheit. Thank you. Like most ninja, Jiraiya learned about four types of jutsus. Taijutsu, or hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yep. Ninjutsu, harnessing chakra's elemental weapons and tools. Genjutsu, Genjutsu I, which covers illusion and mental Genjutsu. manipulation. 
and Senjutsu. A That's method the of one I'm worried about for Master energy Roshi. As an extension of one's Genjutsu. Self. Jiraiya mastered as many styles as he could, and even learned one of the greatest ninjutsu attacks out there, the Rasengan. With yeah. this, he gathers his chakra into a spinning orb of death, Such an modeled awesome the move. ultra-destructive tailed beast bomb. And that thing can wipe out a whole oh, so village is, all at once. Is, uh, and on the weird side, based on that. I don't know if it's based on that. That's awesome. Into a shield like a porcupine and fire the hairs out like a needle gun. Possessing a keen and mischievous He's mind, like Sonic the Hedgehog. Plenty of time developing brand new techniques, such as the invisibility jutsu, which you'd think would be perfect for stealth or assassination missions. Yeah, let's but see. He Why does he use it? it specifically for perving? Uh. Research, which is what is nine out of ten of you men would do his, with it. Uh, Don't lie. Inspiration from clearly Jiraiya sometimes took some women? a bit too far. On one such occasion, Don't look at me like he that. accidentally teleported himself to a mystical land full of giant talking toads. <laughs> is you sure Jutsu isn't just like another name for crack? After befriending the toads, Jiraiya trained under <laughs> the sage Fukasaku, where he learned a bunch of fire release techniques. Like the toad oil bullet and flame bullet attacks. Now that's one impressive loogie. Jiraiya entered a pact with the toads, learning their ways and summoning them to the field of battle. As his own talents relied on trickery over brute force, such as hiding in shadows and manipulating his opponent's movements, the powerful <laughs> toads were perfect allies. He can trap his foe inside a toad's throat, transform them into toads for interrogation, or even call a gigantic amphibian warrior to his side. Like the biggest grump you've ever seen. Gamabunta! I am the wise and powerful Lord Gamabunta, the chief toad! And you're an idiot! Now shut up! Ha <laughs> ha, Bunta, you crutch so the do not spray it, Freddy. And through Fukasaku's it's teaching, not easy Jiraiya being green. perfected the art of Senjutsu. Through their combined efforts, he entered a new mighty form called Sage Mode. Yes. While it takes a long time to get into, Sage Mode Jiraiya can do all sorts of things he couldn't it's awesome. before. awesome. Like it's right up there with Super Saiyan for me. It's just a really cool transformation. The demonic illusion toad confrontation chant. Which sounds weird, so why don't we just call it your f jutsu? Because if you get cut, your soul is trapped by these big guys who desperately want to high five, leaving your physical body totally open to a swift kill. Oh, wow. Sage mode yeah. also enhances Jiraiya's other abilities. That might be bad for Roshi. Into the unstoppable big that might end up center, killing Roshi. Which, according to the official data books, is strong enough to carve away a mountain. Wiz, he's way more than just a mountain smasher. Jiraiya is quick enough to fight some of the fastest ninja around, like Kakashi and Itachi. Yeah, some Kakashi. of which are fast enough to intercept. You guys remember that part, the Naruto? Huh? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll stick my fingers up your. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Putting ninja never mind. like Jiraiya around speeds of. You, you've seen it. You you know, you know Naruto, now you know Kakashi. Ninja are so awesome. Who needs guns when you're more than a hundred times faster than bullets? While Jiraiya Very isn't true. exactly the strongest or fastest ninja around, he's certainly one of the most clever. Over time, he rose to become a legendary ninja and hero of his people, hailed by the honorable title of Sani. And he's a gutsy one. Like when he used his tricks to take out three of the six members of the emo rock band Pain before yeah. they tore his arm off, crushed his throat, and impaled him five and times. And that was but what even while suffering nearly broke me agony, from anime. Proved strong enough to power through and send a vital message to so his most sad. pupil, paving the way for the next generation of heroes before being swept off his feet one last time. So you know, sad. I guess he was a pretty gallant guy after all. As you can see, you fail! Jiraiya the Toad Sage falls victim to no woman's charm. Rare beauties fall for me! <laughs> when you reach the stature I have, the ladies worship at your awesomeness! I'm more used to the right, Japanese the audio. Let's end this debate you once know. and for all. Whatever. It's time for it's pretty a cool. death battle! Master Roshi from the Burly movie. Okay. This store is really close by. I don't yeah. know why. Just... Who's this kid? <laughs> hey, fuzz for brains. Where are the pictures? It's just words in here. Oh, man. <laughs> pictures? You fool! You Words fool. create a thousand beautiful pictures all by themselves! <laughs> Just ask Kakashi. It's pretty slick. Hey, don't take it personally. Not like you wrote the damn thing. Because <laughs> he did. Oh, that's why it's so funny. And return to Cinder. Ooh! Oh, this place is 
officially destroyed. So I don't know. Is that the frog's throat or is it the Genjutsu? I've always wondered about that. But here we go. And I'm gonna stop him. Just straight out the hole. <laughs> it wasn't a frog. Oh my god, wow. Is that like a really small frog? I didn't know Jirai could do clone jutsu. I must have missed a lot, or can't remember stuff from Naruto as well. I don't know. Here we go. Oh my god, he's gonna blow up his own house! He stopped right before he blew up his house. Thank god. Roshi, you don't want to blow up your house, man. You just took out another loan from the bank to pay it off. Oh no! <laughs> I think, I think Roshi's going to be a little bit more durable than that. But then again, I've seen weirder things like laser guns killing Goku. Or nearly killing Goku. Yeah. He's from that chakra to stay on the water. That was really good 3D animation. What's this about? Hey there! Can you buy me some time? Yeah. Oh, I'm not your servant. I'm the chief to rule. <laughs> <laughs> the path of the swole. Water style. Quick <laughs> bullet. Frog looks like what in the hell just happened to me? <laughs> He's a quick one. He's quick, buddy. He's gonna mafuba your ass. Here we go! Oh, this is awesome! Only a coward lets others do their fight so awesome. Ooh! You have no idea. I've been back on the beach the whole time. Man, there's a clone. In Sage Mode. Oh, here we go. What's gonna win? Oh, God. Here we go. Here we go, people. Decide and blow. Oh, my God. He's. Oh, no. No. I can't believe you fell for that. Don't do it. Let's end this. No, this is bullshit. What? He was too fast. <laughs> okay, I'm glad Roshi won, and I'm glad Jiraiya didn't die in a way that would kill me. So, it was a good, it was a good death battle. I was worried. The other can break a moon, <laughs> so that was pretty obvious. Yeah. The speed comparison wasn't quite so clear cut, though. While yeah. his unseen battle with Krillin was incredibly quick, Roshi's never personally shown speeds as fast as the lightning feats Jiraiya scaled to. But he did hold his own in the Tournament of Power against Planet and Galaxy Busters. Yep. Also, in Goku's training right after Korra, there we go. he actually had to dodge lightning. Roshi's own training didn't stop after chasing the kitty around, That's right. and neither did his kitty chasing. So, scaled to Goku's progress, it makes sense that he'd be able to match Jiraiya's speed, and probably even surpass it. Still, it would be reasonable to believe Jiraiya could use his tactical talent to outsmart Jiren's the He was dodging Jiren's attack. Except, Roshi's I mean, he probably a smart fighter knew what he was too. doing, you know, he, he knew they were coming. Not way more experience thanks to his super age, but he's got an eye for traps in sticky situations, like when he figured out the illusion powers of the talisman fighter, Dercori. And remember, it took only 15 seconds for Roshi's Kamehameha to reach the moon. Yeah. Given the moon's distance of over 200,000 miles from the surface of the Earth, this means the beam must have traveled over 57 million That's miles That's friggin' ridiculous. Hour, more than 260 times faster than lightning. There was no way Jiraiya could avoid Roshi's trademark move for very long. Sure, Jiraiya might be a crafty ninja, I'm but surprised it doesn't boil down to much more than tricks that the against someone like Roshi. I mean, it is just the animation, faster, you know, stronger, and had way more experience. 
And that's why Jiraiya croaked when Roshi beat him to the punch. The winner <laughs> is Master Roshi. <laughs> oh. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you want to see some exclusive commentary, right, let's see who's up next. Right over there. And if you want the battle music from this episode, you can download it by clicking the link below. Who's up next? Oh my god, is it Dark Seed versus Thanos? It is. Dark Side, Dark Seed. I don't know how. Dark Side? Dark Side versus Thanos. That is going to be awesome. Okay? So ready for that. Um, guys, I was super worried about watching this death battle because I didn't want to see Jiraiya die again. I knew he was going to die. I just knew it. Because, I mean, freaking Roshi's fought Jiren and he's blown up the moon and. He does all kinds of things, you know, and, well, Jiraiya kind of died to pain. He never, I mean, I'd say that he could have fought longer if pain hadn't killed him. I don't know, or gotten better. I just didn't think that he scaled quite as well to um, Roshi, because Roshi's just, he's fought beings that destroy galaxies and universes and all kinds of stuff, and it's ridiculous. Anyways, guys, Thanos versus Darkseid. Next time on Death Battle. Can't wait to see it. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Jiraiya proved strong enough to power through and send a vital message to his most promising pupil, paving the way for the next generation of heroes before being swept off his feet one last time. You know, I guess.